Okay, welcome to Black Dragon Forge. Bit of a shop tour. There's my baby. Alright, so uh, this building was specifically built by me. These two hands, yes. Originally to house our jewelry training facility. That lasted all but about five years and I grew it. So uh, obviously I moved in here brilliantly. Okay, well, this is my my smithy forging area and uh, yes I'm practicing throwing axes and we've got sorry let me just pan left we've got a bit of a recreational area here and gooseberries all right I'm doing this way too fast okay so there's a uh, post box forge this is where 90% of my work is done and then my hot table quenching We've got the post bias. There's a second one. That one is specifically for axes. There is uh, my main workshop table. And that black area at the back there was my original smithy. Now, this is a monster I'm building at the moment. A three burner. Let me just take that off. She's going to be a three burner, but that's just to keep the, the water from coming in too much. It has to stand there for a couple of, couple of days. 14 to be exact. Okay, well, this is it. My gravel underneath the feet because when you're forging and you're working here all day it doesn't tire out your legs okay so enough of that oh and that there isn't just a table later on we'll talk about that one that's going to be another a forge but a specifically modular one that i'm working on okay for a core tube it's not supposed to stand there but uh this is where 90 percent of it happens this is the grind room okay Gonna go in behind the door number one. Hehe. <laughs> Toilet, storage that goes into the clean room. Belt rack, polishing sander. There we go. This is my baby. All right, and as you can see, a lot of work. Oh, and that one will feature a bit later. Did a lot of work coming down. A couple of axes in the making. All right, whiteboard. Major fan. The bottom, there we go. There's the big double wheel grinder, baby. And then a second grinder. We've got a disc polisher sitting in the corner. Obviously, it doesn't get used all that often, but when you use it, you need it. Well, when you need it, you need it. Then we've got a buff fitted over here. And this one here is really to give uh, initial buffs. I don't do final buffs on this. Um, mainly use it when I do sharpening. That's a hard stitch belt and I don't care about uh, grinding dust on there. Okay, so there we go. There's the control box. And pan out, pan out, pan out. Okay, now we're moving into the kitchen. Kitchen. That's where all the coffee happens. All right, load of stuff up there. Yeah, not really. Oh, my neat little collection. Old, cool stuff. Yeah, not so much. I had to take it all down because we're moving into the shop area now. When I say shop, this is basically the stock I keep for myself. And uh, because I teach a lot, there's a lot of my students that want belts. So I started stocking, but I only stock the stuff that I actually use. And there we go, and that's some wrought iron, air protection. Paracord, 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 belts, clamps, buff sticks. Uh, there we go, that's a little standing rig I had, laser cut. Uh, it's basically knife stands, and then those I'll feature in another video. Small little engineering cross beams, 200 grams. We've got uh, burners, burners, burners. Obviously, for the that is for the uh, Black Dragon Mark One post box forge. Steels, drill bits, wheels, large strops, buff sticks, anything and everything your heart might require, desire, and then the cool stuff. Um, that is uh, giraffe bone. We've got various types of bulls, and 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 warthog teeth. Some nice ones, yeah. And that's that little rig I was talking about. If anyone's uh, seen Kevin Cashin's DVD for the ABS American Bladesmiths Association, you'll recognise that type of thing. And then this is stick with a magnet at the bottom. So is it non-magnetic yet? get the idea okay wood 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 and then sorry there we go 
you guys should have seen a couple of photos of this already. Okay, there's the Black Dragon Mark II. That one is for an order. Client is coming to collect it tomorrow. More post box forges down there. Various little thingies. And then my dinner triangles. I made, uh, I think it was the last day of uh, 2004. Oh, <laughs> 2004 to 2014. Uh, a couple of awards. Uh, and then the base station. This is where Pinky tries to take over. When well, our Pinky brain tries to take over the world every single night. And the pipes, most important. Ashtray, scale, little pantograph, it's a beautiful engraving. My to do list, February, week one and two. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of work, but hey, we do this for a living. And then, what time is it now? That's in the evening, by the way. Okay, now we step through into the clean room. When I say clean room, this is normally where I do my finishing. So no hand sanding or anything in that line. Uh, we've got drill bits, so drill, drill presses, a lot of shelving, a lot of cupboards. Air con. Uh, two large ancient windows. Uh, my tool trolley. That one there gets wheeled around the entire shop. Of course, we need some water. More shelving, packaging. This is my leather working or finishing area. Uh, the main bench over here. 9% uh, of it gets done on here. Whether it be leather work, small little shop anvil for just riveting and uh, sheaths and those type of things. Got more storage on that side. My big steel table on wheels so you can wheel away you need to. And there's a small little melting table at the back. Uh, covered in there is my final buff. So uh, those buff wheels get protected completely. And as you can see from all the gunk on there for when I open the windows. And then my little wannabe jewelry bench, storage cupboard at the back, hanging motor, flexi shaft, that's a bottom by the way, uh, industrial sewing machine, which I haven't had the pleasure of using yet, but he's now completely serviced and everything. There's a little small little belt sander, another Another cupboard that it will essentially be turned into a photographic table at some point. And then the fridge, Black Dragon Forge, if you didn't think of it. And yes, stop poaching, damn it. Leave our friggin' rhinos alone. And this is the car, by the way. I don't know if there's any milk in there. I'm definitely not going to show you. So that was it. That is my shop. Okay, so... Uh, Let's do this, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Have fun, enjoy, and uh, remember to share. Next one, if you're a knife maker, you see this. Um, it's going to go right up here. Upload, upload. If you're a knife maker, you're seeing this. Uh, come on, man. Share your uh, workshop. Cheers.